Society has reached a point where we're very comfortable with married couples having children, with single individuals having children. Gay couples are able to have children. Our goal is for people to have healthy families, to be good parents. For lesbian couples, it's potentially a little bit of an easier process because they may need to simply undergo an artificial insemination. We're actually seeing quite a bit of growth where one partner will decide to donate eggs and fertilize those eggs and transfer the embryos to the other partner. That's certainly not for everybody, but it's a wonderful option for those couples that choose to uh, go down that direction. As far as our gay couples, it's, it's a little more difficult simply because there's the need for an egg donor, there's a need for a surrogate. Now, they may choose to work with an egg donor through an agency. Sometimes they will choose to work with a family member. But often uh, what we find is they'll work with one of the egg donor agencies. And then as far as the surrogacy, we want to make sure that they have a healthy surrogate where they may have a family member or friend carry the pregnancy or work with the surrogacy agency. So it really, I mean, the options start to get, they get grow more and more as, as you start to really look at what's feasible. As far as resources that patients have, there's uh, sperm uh, donor programs or sperm banks, egg banks, a similar situation. Same thing with surrogacy. There's some very hands-on surrogacy programs and less hands-on. If they need an attorney, then we have excellent attorneys that specialize specifically in reproductive medicine that we can guide them to. So I encourage patients, use the resources we have available and use the help that we'll provide.